The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. Glory to you, O God. Chapter 5, verses 1 to 20. Jesus and his disciples reached the country of the Gerasenes on the other side of the lake. And no sooner had he left the boat than a man with an unclean spirit came out from the tombs towards him. The man lived in the tombs, and no one could secure him any more, even with a chain, because he had often been secured with fetters and chains but had snapped the chains and broken the fetters. And no one had the strength to control him. All night and all day among the tombs and in the mountains he would howl and gash himself with stones. Catching sight of Jesus from a distance, he ran up and fell at his feet and shouted at the top of his voice, What do you want with me, Jesus, Son of the Most High God? Swear by God you will not torture me. For Jesus had been saying to him, Come out of the man, unclean spirit. What is your name? Jesus asked. My name is Legion. He answered. For there are many of us. And he begged him earnestly not to send them out of the district. Now there was there on the mountainside a great herd of pigs feeding. And the unclean spirits begged him, Send us to the pigs, let us go into them. So he gave them leave. With that, the unclean spirits came out and went into the pigs, and the herd of about 2,000 pigs charged down the cliff into the lake, and there they were drowned. The swine herds ran off and told their story in the town and in the country round about, and the people came to see what had really happened. They came to Jesus and saw the demoniac sitting there, clothed and in his full senses. The very man who had had the lesion in him before, and they were afraid. And those who had witnessed it reported what had happened to the demoniac and what had become of the pigs. Then they began to implore Jesus to leave the neighborhood. And he was sitting into the boat. The man who had been possessed begged to be allowed to stay with him. Jesus would not let him, but said to him, Go home to your people and tell them all that the Lord in his mercy has done for you. So the man went off and proceeded to spread throughout the Decapolis all that Jesus had done for him, and everyone was amazed. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear brothers, and sisters. An amazing story, an incident that happened in the life of a man who must have been held by chains and fetters tight, must have been very aggressive and difficult to handle. Man living at the graveyards and in the tombs, how scary it can be to the people around, the children, and all those who passed by. Jesus 
when he comes across this man or rather when this man with the demoniac comes across Jesus opens his mind wide and calls out to Jesus have you come to torture me or torture us Jesus gives him a mild reply what are you doing here what is your name and he says I am a legion these are not just biblical stories these are events and happenings even that happen today in our lives there are so many people even today who are possessed and hold on to these legions and we need the spiritual power to heal them and who can do this healing everyone who is baptized can lay hands call upon the spirit that is given to you deep within and you can dry out the devil the evil spirit Jesus has given this power to each one of us the power of this spirit in our families our elders can do it our priests of course can do it but all the baptized must execute this ministry and further when Jesus encounters this person and he gets to know that there are many 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 of them they thought he is going to destroy them and he says don't destroy us allow us to dwell in the pigs and about 2000 pigs that were around as a herd Jesus asked them to take leave they get into the pigs the pigs run into the water into the lake and then they are drowned the worst part of the story here is that people who want Jesus to leave the neighborhood because they had seen this man very ferocious aggressive and this man for them today can be seen as a cool calm and a healed person probably because their pigs may have been destroyed probably or they don't want any good to happen but a few of them were amazed to see the wonder that Jesus had performed the man who got healed went around spreading the news that Jesus has healed him but instead of becoming everything good for Jesus it was becoming bad for him it was becoming difficult for him people instead of taking this healing good they were taking it for bad they began to question Jesus gradually but my dear friends being Christians we have to do this ministry of healing it is our work so Jesus by his actions he tells us that there are legions who dwell in our midst who disturb our functioning who disturb the humanness and human nature that needs a prayerful support laying of hands by the faithful and to eradicate all the evil that remains in the society and in our individuals so let us pray today asking the Lord to heal the world to remove the demoniac to remove the evil that is there in ourselves in the society and especially the virus that is killing humans we ask our dear Lord to destroy it totally 
so that we all may live in peace, joy, happiness, and serving one another. Amen.